Is this going to be a clean 3-0? I mean, it would be a good change after all the 0-3s in my life. <laughs> Vitality guarantee themselves a numbers advantage and a dive. A dive. A symbol. What's happening? Look, of course, how we going in. Stun locked up. First blood already. And they look for two as Yankos. Oh, no, baby. Oh, the oh. flashes for it. Vitality get two. But for now, he's going to get this top tower. Vitality have mid push as well. So G2, what's your answer? They have to engage, I think. They go in, Frozen Tomb, Crescent Guard going in, Caps pops the Tomb on himself, Lebov knocked back underneath the tower, so mid's gonna fall first, but it's two for one so far, in favor of Vitality, Alfari on the back line. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. The tower will fall as well, Broken Blade trying to do what he can, alongside Yankos, the Yankos. reset coming in for Yankos, Kazi dodges away, oh. and gets the kill. TP's now coming in from G2, Broken Blade's gonna join it, Alfari looking for the flank, Hello. onto Blackhead, no. you have the feel, Hexagon to him, onto Blackhead, but the stopwatch will stop time for a second to keep Blackhead alive, two fights, two fronts, self may locked up on the back line, Perks already killed off targets, but Selfmade will pull next. Alfari trying to do what he can with only a third of his HP bar. Vitality dodging in and out of vision, but the dive in from Diego, from Yankos to take two. Flacken gets one of them. Alfari now running for the hills. Stop right there, criminal scum. The glacial path will follow him home, as will Flacken with a double. Sentry will stop it for the moment. It's broken blade. You've got mail. Ignar has the flash and will use both as he locks up two. Kazi, Labrov immediately locked out by Caps. Alfari on the bounty pulled back by Yankos. Jesus. Makes his way back to safety. The Nexus Towers will be raised to the ground as G2 take game one. It's just an easy team to make fun of because, yeah. I mean, they're always getting no 3 The one time they finally get a serious yeah. win and is... Oh my god. Wow. Keep my team out of your mouth. He's, he has a team that's very quick to collapse. Uh, speaking of, Alfari could get collapsed on right now. Should be able to jump away from this one. Both plays still chasing him down. Oh, no! Nothing personal, kid. And it's situations like this that is great for Vitality, where they're not investing a lot, but they're actually slowing G2 down a lot as another fight is kicking off. I mean, Broken Blade's in the middle of four members of Vitality here, and I'm pretty sure he wants that fight. Counter-Strike with the stuns of Mega Death Rocket coming in as well. TP now by Alfari. They look to try and turn this one around. Broken Blade low. Doesn't have a flash. Doesn't have anywhere to go. I came looking for booty. Oh, look at the place that's shut down. Two quick kills over to Vitality. Caps said it, Benny. It was perfect for them, but Caps is trying to turn it back around. Wow. With the speed up, look at the damage he wants to Perks. Caps cashing forward and will. Give the kill over to Flacken. Alfari starting up the dragon. No smite on Vitality. Jankos and Selfie both just respawned, making their way towards the dragon. Looking for the damage. Alfari still has that GA. Remember, Targumus is popped. Shut down by Kazi. Now Broken Blade on the retreat. Instead dives back in. But he hasn't got a GA of his own. Can he survive through the onslaught of Vitality? Kazi, Gravitum, Severum. Not the best guns for this situation. He would have wanted the white guns. And now Kazi... Here we go! Zin gets down Lebrov. Selfmade tries to join the fight. Perks does the same, but they just can't get in there. And Kazi will be shut down by Broken Blade. G2 kept the fight going. And in the end, they win it out. Perks is always said his comfort zone is one and two well, at the moment he can't even get that single win stormbringer used yankos underneath the towers as the domination happens for blackhead yankos takes out self-made perks forced back to the fountain and all he can do is stand and watch as his base is destroyed Responsibility fell on self-made shoulders, but have a look at this. Time was not in a good position here, rooted up, pulled Ooh. back, and that's the kill. Kazi takes it, two quick ones. Yankos is stunned up, self-made takes another. I'm back! The tower to defend him, dodges away, flawless threat, gets one stun. Perks chases in, Vanguard's edge used as well, Perks dives up to the back. 2v3 oh, nice. execution, a 2v3 so far. Everpot's gonna get the root cap strength, turn this one around. Yankos there as well, but they just can't find the damage. Can I get a... Oh, yeah! No. Some cleaner card. <laughs> <laughs> the flame chompers going down here. Escape still has the flash, still has the ult. Target yeah, comes the wild, goes yeah, for himself. Yeah, Yankos looking for it! Yeah, yeah, Yankos gets it! Selfmade still chasing in. Yankos with the stun. I'm dying. It's the storm. Help me. Oh, Baker's away, but Perks will chase him down. Resurrection with the GA. Perks in the back line. Hostile takeover only goes over boom, two. Boom. And now the chase is on. Get excited, G2. Get excited, Blackhead. Because Vitality, boom. they delved too greedily. They delved too deep. They do not know that self their control ward now going down as the dragon is started up. They're going to start it on it, Yankos. Looking for the steel cap. Oh, no! Bye.
fucking way does Cap steal that from over the wall? He gets the Hextech soul for G2. G2 are unrelenting. Broken Blade, no TP, remember on him. There's hey, Onita! He's the first oh. next to tower the target. Black gets away with the McCarls, and Self Made is just deleted. G2 pushing in the base. Cardi flashes in, but immediately is met by the stun. Renata can't bail you out of this 3 0 sun as Cardi will fall. The redemption. There's none of it for Vitality. There's none of it for Perks. There's no hope for Kazi to defend his title as G2 keep them locked in the fountain. Yankers, just flack and drag over this hop. Flash and hear it. You are dead. Hello there. He's locked inside the Hextech Ultimatum. Hops over the minions. Gets jumped on by the hook shot. And here it will. Yeah! And we'll be able to secure an uncontested Drake. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. And that advantage. Up in the top lane, here it gets jumped on. Oh, he's gonna Mega not out. That's it. I'm out of here. Man, One more Q precision. Protocol kill. Oh, solo my. in the top lane, solo in the mid lane. Oh, my lord. Yankos is starting up the dragon. Everyone's kind of. The engage cataclysm into the ultimatum, knocking out members of Misfits. Neon is down, and so is Schlatter. Misfits are rooted inside the pit. Here it will find a stun, but that's another. Vizio and Schlatter, the last man standing for Hirit, will finally be dropped. The dragon will be secured. Death time is long enough for G2 to finish it out clean. It has been G2's game. They have controlled from the minute they started. That Misfits wanted to come out with, it should shut down immediately. But I am happy to see me. I got you, homie. I'm joking. Stop, stop, stop. Tried to gank, ultimately didn't work. Yankos will be able to catch out Neon, who is flashless, who is healless, and Mercer will be the next target. We'll get rooted in place by Caps, potentially locked down as well. And that should be just another one for Flacken, as well as one for Yankos. So this is going to be a big flank. Two towers secured. Schlatzan. Konnichiwa. Oh, hi, Mark. Over the wall from Broken Blade. And Neon's going to get hopped up. The Devourable Sometime from Mercer, Hextech Ultimatum is thrown in and Vizio joins the fray. Targamon's running for his life and Mercer's going low. Mercer may just get dropped. Not yet, as Yankos buys time with that stopwatch. Finally, get kill is secured. Super Mega Death Rocket goes out. Great sidestep from Herod. Glacial Path oh. into the first W. Caps locks up Neon. The kills are secured. It is at the cost of his life. Caps the dragon flash. is being tagged up here by Misfits. The Moonlight Vigil is thrown out. Misfits are running away for the time being. The Ultimatum is chucked onto Targamon's and the soul is secured by G2. Now Misfits are running for their lives. Neon has a couple of autos to throw out, but it simply scratches the back of G. I like it, Kaji. It's not enough to, uh, gold for Misfits. And of course, uh, that is a very fed, very farmed, very powerful fucking Another kill secured. Mercer will be the next to drop in here. Stays alive inside the fountain. <laughs> it is showboating. It is celebrating. It is oh, absolute yeah, domination <laughs> from G2. You can see from the top side as well, everyone knows the assignment here. It's about the mid lane. Three members from both teams trying to net that priority to get, get that push in to dictate the control of the map. Man pulled backwards by Renata and Mercer is dropped by Caps. So nicely done with that handshake. Caps still has that petrifying gaze, so Misfits need to be careful about this one. Yeah. Good night, girl. Forward, the Moonlight Vigil did so much and Yankos oh. is down. Traded back with the Super Mega Death Rocket. Neon escaped with his life for now. Schlatten dashes forward and he's taken out by Caps. Now Vizio left alone, being shot and run down. They've just looked classes above Misfits. They have, and they've developed throughout the course of spring. Expectations pre-season were not that high, and now... Not even close, baby! Away from making it to the semi-finals, Yankos dives all the way forward, jumps ah. onto Neon, kicks him back, and Caps sends him to the fountain. Ah. Mercer will be the next target as Flacken is on a rampage. G2 have oh. obliterated <laughs> Misfits Broken today. No. And are styling on them as Yankos once again sets up another kill for his team. It has been one-sided all day long, but G2 Esports will now start hammering on the Nexus. They look towards a matchup with Fnatic next Saturday.